What's up everyone? Welcome to the Logical Gamer Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to get the cars to actually work on your 5M server. So let's say you already know how to do the server, you already know how to upload cars, but you upload the car you want and it's all glitchy and it doesn't work. Uh, in this video we're going to show you how to get those to work. So for this example we're going to use a 68 Dodge Dart. It's brand new, came out. It's a really nice, very high quality detail. Uh, we put it in a server and it doesn't work. So I'm going to insert a clip here and you're going to see that. We're going to talk about it a little bit um, and you're going to see that it just doesn't work. Um, the textures are all messed up. Alright so here's the car. It's all messed up. As you can see none of the textures work. Everything's broken. Um, now this car is nice enough at its current state that we can spawn it, open it, and control it. Most cars will not work at all or they'll spawn when you get to it, it crashes. Um, but in this case, it's just all messed up. Long story short, the reason um, the car is like this is because the file texture for the car is over 16 megabytes. Currently 5M only allows anything below 16 megs to work. Uh, so we can actually fix that. There's a couple tools we're going to need. Um, I'll show you all the tools, I'll show you how to fix it, and then I'll show you how the car will look like once we get everything working and it's all nice and neat. Alright, cool. So now that we're ready for that, we're going to need a couple tools. The first tool you're going to need is Open IV. Go to GTA Mods, download it if you don't already have it. It's very important. You can't do this without it. Cool. So once you have Open IV, um, you can save it to wherever you want. The next thing you're going to want to do is get a photo editing program. There is GIMP, Paint.net, Photoshop. Honestly, if you're very simple, you're not, excuse me, you're not very confident or you know technical on the Photoshop stuff. Get Paint.net. It's the easiest, simplest, and it's worked great. If you're a little bit more advanced, and get GIMP. That also works great. Gives you a little bit more options. It's a little harder to use. Of course you can use Photoshop, it's the hardest and it's not free, but in this case Paint.net works great, it's free, very easy to use. So um, once you download your car, I would recommend saving it somewhere, so I put it on my desktop here. I have it in a um, compressed folder right here, so we're going to go ahead and extract it here just to kind of keep everything um, organized. So once it do, the extracts, do its thing. Cool, now we have the folder, Dart, so we're going to leave it in there. All right, cool. We're going to open open IV. All right. Do your thing, do your setup, whatever you got to do. Uh, once you're all done with the setup, you're going to click on your game, Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. It'll take a second to start. All right, cool. And then what you want to do to make things even easier for yourself, um, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Honestly, I just went to the root file. So in Grand Theft Auto 5, right click and go to Show and Explore. You'll go straight to the root. And then I went and created a Grand Theft Auto 5 Cars folder. You don't have to do it here. I just did it easy just for this video and just to mod and stuff. It's just easier for me. So once you create your folder, there's mine. Um, you want to get out of it. Uh, now you'll see the Cars folder in here. And then you'll throw in your car. I already did that, so I'm just going to just disregard that. Um, but we're going to uh, drag the folder, the, your Dart folder, in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to drag it into, actually, I always forget. Just go back to your Explorer, um, right click on that, go to your GTA Cars. I'm just going to delete that. And then throw your Dart folder in here. Cool. So now it should show up on here. All right, sweet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit. Uh, we're going to do an edit mode so we can actually do some editing and the textures. We're going to find the YTD files, and that was the file that I was talking about earlier when the car was all broken. So you're just going to do a lot of double clicking. So just kind of follow closely. So we'll go to DLC, X64, Vehicles RPF. Cool. So here's what we want, Dart YTD. There's sometimes two. One of them will say hi, and then it'll say YTD regular. Uh, you need to do both because if you just do one, the other one will not get affected and you'll get the same result. So for in this case, the car only has one. Great. So we'll double click that to edit it and see what's going on. Also notice the size is 18 megabytes, which is above the 16, which is why it's crashing. So the way to fix that is we're going to have to reduce the size or the resolution on some of the textures in the car. Most of the time, it's literally liveries or stupid dirts things like that. We can um, reduce them. Uh, if you scroll down, there's going to be a lot of textures, but don't worry, it's easier. So for example, Forza Dirt is 4096. There's no reason for that. It's dirt. Who cares? 
uh, we want to reduce it. So usually I like to go half, which in this case would be like 2094 or 20 something like that if I do my math correctly. So I'm just going to go half on this. So 2048. So we can change it to 12, uh, 2048. If you really want to be safe, the safe number is 1024. Notice how this is 1024. That's the safe value. The quality will be a little bit reduced, but you're playing it safe. So um, here's a couple that are 2048. Here's some that are 4096. Those are the ones you really want to get rid of. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of them in there. It's going to take forever. So what we want to do is we want to create a folder, which I have already so it's with my GTA card textures we're gonna go ahead and make this folder that way we can export all the textures and edit the ones we don't need so or sorry edit the ones we need <clears throat> and get rid of the ones we don't so let's uh, do that export all textures now we're gonna export it as DDS this is where your Photoshop editing software comes in handy <clears throat> so in this case paint.net so click on DDS alright GTA card textures already selected great boom Minimize. All right, <clears throat> all the textures are going to be here. These are all the ones you need. Um, if they show up in images, what you want to do is click on View, and click Details. This way, you can organize everything. Do it by size. So now you'll see there's a couple here that are definitely over 16 megabytes. You'll also notice the Forza Dirt is 10, but we noticed it had a high resolution. So just to be safe, we'll edit that as well. So we're going to delete all of these because we don't need any of them and we're just gonna worry about these um, now 90% of the time this method works the other 10% you have to try something else look into more textures it's just kinda weird depending on how the car is made alright cool so let's go ahead and get started so let's go and open paint.net great so what I'll do is I'll do a few and then I'll just cut through the video because it's all the same thing you don't need to see it over and over and then I'll show you the result once we're ready to go so <clears throat> this is how you actually edit the file uh, we're gonna throw in our first one I'm just gonna open it alright and let me uh, open this here larger for you guys alright so this is our first layer what we want to do is hit image and resize alright so the resolution is 4096 so we're gonna go half 2048 now if you want to play it safe, do 1024. 20, 1024 is the safest, but in this case, we'll do 2048 so we can at least retain some of the quality. I usually like to attempt that first, and if this doesn't work, then I will go lower. So once we do that, we hit OK. All right, cool. Then we're going to hit File, Save As. So we're going to override it. We're going to save it as a .dds. If you're using Photoshop, you need a .dds plugin, which is free on NVIDIA's website. So just remember that. GIMP and Paint.net do not need it. It already comes included, so it's easy. So we're going to say yes to override it. All right, next important thing. Uh, we're going to choose the file. Now, you can do DTX1 or 5, depending on what it was saved. But 5 is the safest. I always have a successful rate with 5, so I just select that. If somebody knows exactly what it means, you can comment below. But 5 works best for me, so I'm going to keep that and hit OK. I'm just going to leave these alone. I don't mess with it. Um, MitMap, if you're using um, GIMP, make sure MitMap is checked off. Same thing with uh, um, Photoshop. So as you can see, generate MitMaps is off. So leave that off. So hit OK. It'll save. Cool. So that's all there is to it. And you'll notice on the size here, it changed to 4 megabytes. So I'm going to do it one more time with the other one. So throw it in there image, resize, half of it, 2048, done, file, save as, overwrite, yes, DTX5, leave these alone, uncheck generate mitmaps, hit OK. So that's all there is to it, so I'm going to do the rest, and so I'm going to skip across so you don't see me do it over and over, and then we'll come back to the next step. Alright, cool, so we're done, all of these files have been reduced in size as you can see their size is all low around four megabytes so now we're going to import these textures back into the original car so to do that we're gonna go back to our uh, open IV where the textures were open in the editor we're gonna click import alright and then we're gonna select all the files we edited so we're gonna hit open it's gonna overwrite the files within the car automatically so we'll hit open that's very important mitmaps I'm gonna check off like I mentioned earlier and you can leave these automatic 
but to be safe if it doesn't work you can try one depending on if the car originally has one or five in this case I'm gonna do five to be safe it works it works really well with five and I'm gonna hit OK so we'll check make sure everything was fine Let's see so here's our fours of dirt it's uh, 2048 by 2048 is what we did. Great, so we know it works. So now we're going to hit save. All right, it may lag, it may glitch out. Uh, let it do its thing. Um, it'll save and work great. Just don't mess with it. As you can see, it already says not responding, but it will save just fine. All right, and as you can see, it's done. It is now within the uh, Dart folder. So now all you have to do is put this car back into your server. So um, I'll go back to my window. So the car that we put in here, that's why we did this folder to make it really simple. Um, see, it's in GTA cars. So now this car is done. Uh, the file is edited, it's saved, and it's ready to go back into the server. Um, again, I made this video assuming you guys already have the server up and running in cars. If you don't, you can go within our channel, in the Logical Gamer channel, uh, where we have uh, the server up so you can see how to put the server. Um, you, uh, there's also a video on how to put the cars within the server as well. So check that out. So now we're going to go back to the car and we're going to put it within the server and you're going to see uh, how it looks like once it's all good to go and ready. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you that. Alright guys, and there she is. Everything worked. So this was successful. The car looks great. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. We'll answer them the best way we can. We're still learning, so just bear with us. With that being said, I want to give a bunch of credits to LogicalGamer.com and the admins, uh, CryptoLocker, for keeping up the server, uploading the cars, and then the model developer, Venom, for actually getting these textures to work. Uh, he worked pretty hard on trying to figure them out and get a rhythm for them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helps everyone out there. Um, again, if you have questions, let us know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you online.